Hi, I'm Tay Razov. Hey, and I'm Casey Keller, and we are in my game room um, talking about a 2000 World Cup qualifier against Guatemala in the beautiful city of Mazatenango. The road to Korea and Japan and the 2002 World Cup begins in Mazatenango, Guatemala for the United States as World Cup qualifying play begins. Now we're starting the, the program back over again to qualify for 2002 and trying to put 98 behind us and having a, a start in what was probably the most interesting conditions we were going to have in all of qualifying in, in Mazatenango. It was certainly eye-opening and uh, uh, something I'll never forget. Uh, that was uh, when you're greeted by 40 commandos in ski masks, it's uh, it's the real deal. And then, you know, and that, and that came up thought of us landing in Guatemala City, having a three and a half, four hour <laughs> bus ride through the jungles and mountain passes that looked like the road was going to crumble at any time to get to where we were going. You know, landing, ending up in a hotel that... Well, that's being kind. Well, yes, we're ending up in these kind of shacks, shacks um, in this complex, guarded by our 40 commandos. Uh, Why were they wearing ski masks? Because I, I don't think they want to be known <laughs> in public as being commandos, so, which is telling you a lot that, of what yeah, you need to that know. Did not um, comfort us. It is a hot and humid day in Masatenango. 93 degrees, 93 percent humidity, and we are underway. Guatemala playing three backs, five in midfield, and two forward. What comes next is the night before the game when the local radio station slash militia slash slash militia, yes, Mazatenango militia, come with that speaker truck to rock tunes all night. Air sirens and M80s and M100 started going off uh, uh, and our commando that was guarding our room decided to take off, <laughs> which we did not know he had a set place to run to. Uh, I noticed my roommate, Chris, and uh, Chris is going to love me for this, jumped onto the bed and wanted to hide and well, there was nowhere really to hide. They're going to find us, Chris. <laughs> and so I suggested we run out into the jungle, that we had a better chance. Um, I'll you know, certainly never forget that. Now, there's, uh, there's our friend, Mr. Ruiz. Um, he was quite a handful that day, <laughs> to say the least. He had definitely some, uh, some help from the officials laid on. Yes. So uh, it'll be interesting to, to relive some of the interesting decisions that were or called or not called as this game progresses. And I think people don't understand no matter how fit we were, how much water we drank, how much we it, it didn't really matter in this no. kind of condition. It was more of a, a battle of will and uh, because it's it, it's oppressive heat is what yeah. it is. For this kind of speed are brutal over 90 minutes. Jack what's because very important is their ability to possess the ball as they are right here through midfield. Showing for the ball very well, Ante Razov linking up with Chris Armas, but possession forces the opposition to have and to be I the And I think there's, there, there was sections throughout, particularly, I'd say, the first 60 minutes, where we looked good, we looked comfortable. Right. Um, uh, but there was definitely a point when the travel, the lack of sleep because of the militia, um, took its toll, Yeah. no Absolutely. doubt about it. And, and we just couldn't quite you know, see it over the edge, even though, you know, the conceding the goal is so late. The ball goes out and off Razov. It'll be a goal kick. And was looking up, attempting to cross. I'm not going to lie. I like that goal, other goalkeeper's kit much better than yours. You were digging that? Yeah, that's yeah. a good look. Nice. I think, he, I think he had my gloves on. <laughs> and he looks like he got his, 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 his yeah, ribs. Got in the solar plexus. And I don't know why the firemen are taking him off, but uh, it's all good. Yeah. Right. Well, he might have been on fire. I mean, and it was so damn hot out there. They had to put him out I bet first. that stretch. Oh. Was so hot. <laughs> I mean, here it is. Oh, oh. yeah. He gets sandwiched here. This guy gives him a good just shimmy gets, to the ribs. Oh, and then just gives a nice little knee oh. to your ribs, Ed. There you go. Take that, son. But we've yet to see any sort of attack from Guatemala uh, of any sorts here. No, no nothing sustained at all. Which is about 24 yards from goal. Razo's long blast and a save by Estrada. No, I mean it's a good save. It's a good shot. I mean it's still just continually showing that we're in control. In control. There's Regi challenging the ball. Comes down to Armas. 
Past Regi on the bounce. Now here's a chance for a counter. And Ruano going on to the right side for Ruiz. Ruiz makes the move. He's got and this a is your first shot. action. Again. First real action, yeah. And 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 I'll be honest with you. I mean, I'll I'll take that angle all day. With the, but we we probably should have won the ball higher up the field. And look, Ruiz does a good job. Yeah. Ruiz slips a little bit, but that angle, that shot. And it's covered. 37th minute, so maybe now we are starting to feel our legs about. I, I would agree with that. Yeah. Pushing the tempo. But that was almost just like a broken play at midfield. <laughs> yeah. But then, you know, Ruiz is a good player. You know, he got one on one with Regi. Regi slips a little bit and, you know, he gets a decent shot on target. That's probably a foul. I don't want to give him my shirt after the game. He just didn't want to wait till after the game. He was going to take it from me right there in the first half. And that was that. Do you see a yellow card anywhere? Of course not. No. Reyna forward for Stewart, gets it right back. Reyna looking in for Rozov. He's got the big left. The shot. Scores! You kissing the crest? Yeah. You know, you got a new crest to kiss now. No, again, a great pass from Claudio. And we were finding, I think, I mean, you can... I could have gone down there, too. Yeah, but you were finding those seams kind of all day long. Yeah. And, you know, nice little move just to open up space at the top of the box. And, you know, did you get a little deflection yeah, on the finish? Yeah, a little deflection. Delivers the ball perfectly, and we have arrived at halftime. I think it was a lot of cold towels to try to to take some heat off. But like I said it was really an open locker room underneath the stadium, so people kind of looking in and and <laughs> a, lot of no a lot of noise, a lot of noise. Yeah, and almost yeah, it was it was just on. On the right side, trying to work against Armas. Comes square. Long drive saved by I think that's kind of the first serve I have to make. You know, we're 60 minutes, you know, into the game, and it's. I think we're feeling we're it. We're start. Yeah, I think you know, you're on the field. You come out of halftime. You have about 10, 15 minutes, and then you're kind of like, oh boy. And that guy's offside on the shot. Yeah, he's offside on the on the shot and the rebound. Yeah, that little deflection could have gone where it wanted to go. <clears throat> you look like you're just at the beach. I am. I'm just chilling. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely tired. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking I'm in goal. I'm gassed. I mean, in, right now it's probably 100 degrees and, 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 and mid 90s humidity. Absolutely. And I, it had to be 120 on the field. 100. Oh, Tom. Yeah, no question. Looking for Ruiz. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't a foul. A that was that, that wasn't a, that was a foul, but the first one wasn't. Mercifully, I think that's two yellow cards in one play. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. And then Ruiz, and now he's hurt. I mean, so so you can see how tired we are with the initial clearance of the ball. But then, look, I said this is just a simple catch. <laughs> And look at the wind up, wind up, and oh, yeah, I mean that is about as clear of a foul as you're ever going to see. And that's not just, and then look at this, look at the attempt to go for the ball. There's zero attempt and he just wipes out Frazier. I mean that's insane. They've had chances in this second half. All the way into the middle, that's a handball. And a yellow card, should be. Ruiz. And so here's a play that leads to their goal. So, you know. They have you know, to suck it up. They've used up gorgeous. all their substitutions. Ramos, Hayduck, and Vanny on the field. Flick on header into the middle. Scores! But here's a guy that shouldn't have been on the field. Scoring the equalizer in the 88th minute. Could have been sent off twice. And, you know, it was just... Some of those things you try to explain to people who don't understand, you know, kind of what you have to go through. And yeah, Vanny just, is that Pedrosi, I think, wins the initial ball, and Ruiz just beats the second ball, gets it past me, and from, you know, the top of the six, and, you know, good little finish. You know, nothing's going to be given to you. Um, you, you know, conditions are extreme. Um, 
you know, in different ways. Sometimes the pitches are very poor. This one, the pitches was decent, but the temperature was so extreme, the travel extreme, uh, the, the stay in the hotel, the lack of sleep. I take all of that out of the equation and I think of the way we played for 65, 70 minutes. I think of the way the game was mishandled by the referee. Yeah. Um, you know, on retrospect, I was really proud of what our guys were able to do under extreme conditions with obviously poor, in, refereeing. poor refereeing. Um, and unfortunately, it just took, you know, yeah, were we riding our luck a little bit? Yeah. A lot of that stuff was just our own tiredness. Yes. Uh, where, but you still got, we still found a way to get a result, which is, which is what it comes down to. You draw on the road and you win at home. Right. You qualify yeah. for a World Cup. Yeah. Simple as that. And usually very easily. Correct. You know, so just very different type of atmosphere and experience. Um, certainly one you'll never forget. I'll never forget. No, well, That's why we're talking about it now. And this game is over. The U.S. opens its 2002 World Cup qualifying with a 1-1 tie at Mazatenango, Guatemala.